Hi, my name's Caleb, and I'm a maker, Caleb the Maker. I would like to submit my Arduino-based Helicopter Collective Control to the Amazing Maker Awards. This is a project I did in collaboration with Element 14 Presents. I like to fly in flight simulators, especially helicopters. I've always wanted to have the real helicopter control for a collective, but they're pretty rare and quite expensive. The cheapest one I could find was about $350, and they just go up well over a thousand past that. So in the spirit of DIY, I decided I would make one myself. And here it is. This is my Arduino-based helicopter collective control. This was a blast to build. I had a lot of fun. There were several challenges that I had to overcome. Uh, one being transferring this motion into a rotary motion for the rotary encoder here to pick that up and read its position. I used a small gear I designed here and another pinion gear on the encoder itself. And I only printed part of it to save some print time. But that turned out to work pretty well. My calculations were a little off, but it still works great. I get full range of motion out of it. The other, uh, a other challenge was uh, having a hard stop at the bottom and at the top so it doesn't just kind of flop around in space. When I let go, it will go to, or push all the way down, it will go to a hard stop. And I did that with these little fins here that have slots in them with a bolt going all the way through that act as the stops. The other challenge was to have some kind of friction control so it would stay instead of just coming back down. I used these same paddles, these fins here, and I have a knob that I can turn, give it a little bit of tightening there, and it'll go up and it'll stay. I thought that was a lot of fun. I had a blast designing this part of it because I, I, I was able to come up with two solutions kind of in one. For the microcontroller on the bottom, I used the Arduino Micro, and I chose that processor because it has the Atmega 32U processor on it, which allows this device to present itself to the host operating system as a human interface device. I then used the library that was able to emulate a joystick. So it just shows up in Windows or Mac or whatever as a joystick. It's got quite a bit of IO on it. I've got some buttons on the bottom, two buttons on top, several toggle switches, an eight-way hat switch, and a rotary encoder with another button on it as well. And for that, with all that IO plus all the IO that the encoder required, I needed to add a GPIO expander as well. There's a video of the entire project and it's on the Element 14 community page, which I'll have a link in the description on this video as well as in the application for the Amazing Maker Awards. Uh, it got a lot of attention on the community. There's pages and pages of comments as well as several community builds of the project where people took my design and they improved upon it. And I love that. And in some cases, some people replaced the rotary encoder with a Hall effect sensor, which is a much better idea. This was just my go-to when I was building it. Uh, everything is released as open source and open hardware. So all of the documentation, CAD files, schematics, code, uh, DXFs, STLs for 3D printing. It's all available on the Element 14 community page as well as GitHub. Thank you for the opportunity to submit one of my favorite projects to the Amazing Maker Awards. I'm really looking forward to it. Thank you.